It's camping time with Wade's RV. Stay tuned for the latest in RV news and innovations. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all of this and a lot more. Good afternoon and welcome to Camping with Wade's RV. It's 1023 KRNG, Tulsa's News and Talk. I'm Skyler Cooper in the studio with Willie D. What's going on, man? Hey, nothing much. I'm really excited to be out here today and uh, I'm ready to go camping. That's what I'm ready to do. Now, you have done some camping lately, haven't you? That's exactly right. I actually just got back from, I would say, my annual camping trip. Um, I take a lot of my friends out and we go camping. This time, we actually went to New Manford Ramp, so highly recommended spot out there. You're kind of the trial and error guy with Wade's RV. They send you out with the uh, units and check them out and kind of find the fun things and then when you come back and then you're talking to customers it's kind of like you've got true hands-on experience in so many of these things. That's exactly right and I love it myself. I think it's one of the biggest perks of my job is that I get to go out there and I get to go camping and I get to use all these different types of RVs. I'm not just having one. Um, this one that we took out was actually a 2017 Keystone Cougar and uh, the model number on it is 34 TSB and you might be asking yourself what does that exactly mean? Well, uh, it means the box is about 34 foot and then the TSB is triple slide bunk. So this one had a bunk room in the back, um, had three different bunks, then also in the kitchen, two slides, and then had a nice master bedroom with a master bathroom suite up front as well. So really, really great rig. It only weighs 8,000 pounds and it's actually for sale at Wade's RV right now. Wade's RV 161st and Highway 75 or 121st, which is the service center, correct? That's exactly right. And at that service center, we can handle all of your needs. So we have a paint shop. We actually have a lift. It's kind of scary when you walk underneath it, but they can lift one of those big 45 foot diesel pushers up in the air and you can walk underneath it. So we can quite literally handle any job you have. I have seen Wade go ahead and remodel units. I've seen him take walls off of units. It's incredible. I've never seen him say no. So if you've got an RV challenge, bring it to us and let's see what we can do for you. And we'd like to have your questions here on the show. So if you have anything that you've maybe been trying to work on and you're not sure which way to go with it and before you drive on up there, you want to ask Willie D about it, give us a call. 918 460-KRNG, 460-5764, or you can just text us, 95920 is the phone number. Uh, if you want to get uh, some idea of what's out there at Wade's RV, go to wadesrv.com or call them, 918-291-1011. And people can call and ask for you. You're there quite a bit. I'm there every single day of the week, so you can always call and ask for me, or if you're in the store, just come by and say hello. I love meeting everyone that listens to this show and hearing about um, if you're trying to get into camping, I'd love to give you some recommendations of what unit might work best for you, or just come on in and tell me about your last camping trip. So we would like to hear more about your last trip that you took, but you brought a friend along. I tell did. me who you got here with us today. Yeah, I have Connor Perkins over here. Oh. Yes, he's an avid camper and an avid bird watcher as well. So it <laughs> kind of worked out perfect for him to come on today and talk about our outdoor experience. Where did you guys go again? Um, we actually went out to New Manford Ramp. It's a really great camp spot out there. The camp posts are really, really friendly. He kind of was like our buddy. He was kind of giving us different little tips of oh, things yeah. to do out there, different places to find wood, and it was really incredible. Um, one of my favorite things that I like out there is they have concrete bench pads and mm -hmm. then they have like grills and things so it's one less thing you have to bring and it kind of makes it nice and clean for your experience. The weather's been a little bit up and down lately. Was it cold for you guys or was it nice? Well, yeah, that, that's kind of an interesting thing. So originally we planned on staying out there for about two or three days. And the first day was really, really nice when we got out there, had a great time, got to fully take everything in. And then we also got to experience the rainy side of camping. So mm. the next day it was pouring down rain all morning, all night. And so it gave us a totally different experience. We were locked inside the camper and we had a good time. We played a lot of board games, but we started cooking. One of my favorite things of the whole cooking experience was we were cooking brats out on the grill and it started to pour down rain. And so we're all scrambling to save that charcoal. And so we grabbed some aluminum foil and we wrap them up and it kind of worked. I think we got the nice barbecue taste on it, but um, like yeah, we had to finish it off in the stove. So it gave us a really great experience and we got to trial and error the uh, outdoor kitchen cooking area. It has a sink, it has a fridge, and then we use their grill. Like I said, I'm, I'm a big charcoal guy, so yeah. uh, I'm not going to be using propane out on the campsite necessarily. No propane accessories? Uh, well, I did bring a few, you know, propane hookups, so in case <laughs> I did need to use an additional grill. Yeah, 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 of course, you know, a little hand kill. Um, but yeah, so we had a really great time out there. One also great thing is, so we were taking a unit that was winterized out there, so we weren't using the restroom facilities, and they have really great restroom facilities and showers and all of that up there at New for Graham. We actually got a text at 95920 because uh, apparently they're in love with the sound of this place. Tell them exactly how to get there. Okay, so um, it's if you just get on Google and you type in New Manford Ramp, it'll take you right to it. It's right inside of Manford. Um, you just go right past the Sonic and it'll be really easy to find. 
Very nice. So I, I like going out to that area. I used to go ride at Appalachia Bay a lot, out by Keystone. And it's it's cool because it's close to home, but it's still far enough out where you feel like you went somewhere for the day. Oh, yeah, of course. So I live in Tulsa, so it's just a quick drive. I think it took me about 35 minutes or so to get up there. And you're exactly right. Having these local camp spots are really great because you can get out there, you can unplug, you can unwind, and really relax. We love to ask people for their favorite spots. If you've got a place that you recommend, you can text it to us at 95920. Chances are Willie D has been there. Uh, but we'd love to hear from you. It's Camping with Wade's RV on KRMG. And one of the things that we've talked about, you mentioned how it started raining on you. Uh, I've been dealing with an issue with the rain yesterday and, and the week before because my truck started leaking, literally dropping water inside my vehicle. Turned out to be that third brake light, bad I gotcha. seal. Yeah, you know? I've heard about that. But what happens if that happens on your RV and you, what kind of supplies should one take and just be prepared for anything kind of thing? Well, I would definitely bring towels. Um, that would be one thing so you can soak up that water. Um, Self-leveling Dicor is also a great product. That's what you're going to use to seal that up. And if you do, I kind of recommend taking your camper out when it is raining every so often. That way, if you do have a leak, you can catch it before it's actually a problem for your unit. That reminds me that some people may not discover that until they go out in their yard and, and get in and realize, oh, this has a leak. Exactly. But So it's good to check them out, maybe put it out there and, and double check. But you guys offer, um, they may never know because it's inside your storage, right? You can store them right there at Wade's RV. That's exactly right. So if you want to keep your unit, um, we have a lot of those big diesel pushers and stuff and even travel trailers or fifth wheels. Um, people can have a storage unit out there. We have them at both locations. So it just depends on which one's closer or more convenient for you. And we also have outdoor storage as well. So um, me living on, you know, in downtown Tulsa, I don't necessarily have a spot to bring my RV. Yeah. So it really works. It makes it handy so we can just go ahead and keep it out at Wade's RV. And if you ever have a problem and you're storing with us, guess what? We can go get in the unit and we can work on it. So it's really, there's lots of different advantages of storing with Wade's RV. Couldn't you just park right next to the BOK Center and pretend like you're a big star? And I guess I could, but play tonight? I don't know, you know. Connor, would that work? I mean, <laughs> yes. might, might get some weird looks. Yeah. <laughs> Fake well, until you make it, at least, mm -hmm. right? I get yelled at by the cops when I go down there in the news car, so I, I would give you good luck. Okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> they well, used we'll to be cool with that. Yeah. They've changed their minds. I got gotcha. you. Uh, so we'd love to take your questions. 95920 Willie D has all of that knowledge in there from the sales side, from the experience out camping. He'll tell us more about that place that he went. I want to remind you that uh, there's a kind of a pre-sale happening at Wade's RV because the uh, Tulsa Boat Sport and Travel Show is coming up, and you'll see Wade's RV there, but really it's going to save you time and effort and money to go check them out now. How is that? That's exactly right. So whenever we go down to the show, we have to drag all those units down there. It does take time and it is expensive and things of that nature. So think, if you come and buy that unit before we have to do that, seems like a little bit of an incentive to make you a little bit of a deal. So um, we got lots of deals going on. We still have some 2019s that are left over. So um, we're really trying to blow those out. And guess what? You don't have to pay to get into the RV show. So you can just come on to Wade's RV. We have over 26 different brands. So you don't have to go out and go shopping different places. If you're looking for different floor plans or different colors, we got you covered. I always try to figure out how to describe uh, Wade's RV. It's a cool feel. First of all, it's easy to get down there, 161st and Highway 75 and uh, Oftentimes, you know, you feel like you're going far, and I almost pass it every time. You just got to look for the RVs, and you, oh, yeah. you won't you, miss you it. You cannot miss it. But when you walk in, it's just such a cool feel, the atmosphere, and I always see you zipping around. You've got to be one of the, like, do you ever count your steps at work? I don't, but I think I should look at that after this radio show. I think it'd be pretty interesting. There might be a few miles on, the, on these boots. <laughs> Probably you know I mean? so, man. But how do you stay so busy? What is your, your method at work? Um, well, we have a lot of things going on, and I like to work. And so with that, Wade has really given me an opportunity. So I, I kind of do a little bit of it all. Like you said, I do sales. Um, if you need an AC install, I can go and I can install that for you. Um, or if you just need some advice on what to do or where to go or you know some parts and accessories, I can help you with that, and I really have a passion for RVs, and I think that's why Wade let me do this. But yeah. um, I, I'm really, really excited about it, and so if you, you know, ask and you shall receive. So um, I like to be involved, and I like to do all that sort of stuff. So I have just really dove into the Wade's RV culture. And you were talking about how it's a little bit different. We have cedar wood all the way around. We have um, deer heads on the wall. I mean, this is a really family-oriented place, and it's got the outdoors feels as well, and that's what you're going to experience from right when you walk in the door with the receptionist to, you know, if you buy one and you go through the whole process. One thing I love is Big Wade shakes your hand before you leave and asks, 
are you happy and is there anything we could do better? Um, and so he's really, really focused on your experience at just overall, like I said, with the storage or the service, anything he's got his hands in and he wants to make sure you're having a great experience. I think that description uh, kind of got what I was going for because it doesn't feel like a, you know, a car lot with the fluorescent lights. And nah, it doesn't feel like you're in the office. No. no, it's not an office. It's just kind of a cool place. And, yeah. uh, you can check them out. We have more texters coming in at 95920. We will get to those after our uh, break here. Get your questions in now. Text us or call 918-460-KRMG-460-5764. And Willie D has some cool products to tell us about. Uh, if you aren't ready to jump into that big diesel pusher, pusher but you want something uh, small and fun, we'll tell you about that coming up. It is Camping with Wade's RV on 1023-KRMG. That's good pizza, the too. What well, pizza? La Roma. Oh, I've never had it. 61st and Sheridan. Pizza, it's so good. Those, those oh, okay. Like, I think I just drove past like that yesterday, actually. The they have weird hours, but if you catch them, uh, you I think I saw Willtown or something. Like, they took their people using it. Oh, really? Dough and sauce and sausage. You don't have to wait for dinner either. La Roma is open for lunch. Yeah, those good little pizza joints are always kind of hard to find. Like, there's a really oh, good I know one. exactly where that is, actually. I've, yeah. The falafel. I'm thinking through my head. Like, it's like they're always tucked in the tiny little corner of a shopping center. Yeah. You can barely find them, but it's this good. One's my favorite. This is right next to Savoy, which is another oh, no. super good place. Just north of the intersection next to Savoy, La Roma. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are the ones with the big old cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, some sunshine today, but it's going to stay breezy, too. Keep a coat or jacket around. 49 degrees tomorrow up to 46 but light wind and sunshine on monday dr martin luther king jr day sunshine 36 parade temp 30 tuesday 45 wednesday another chance of showers i'm chief meteorologist james Idalot for fox 23 and 1023 krmg tulsa's news and talk at 1235 it's sunny and 46 degrees we're getting you up to speed with the three big things you need to know three an avalanche in california on friday leaves one person dead and another injured two the senate passes the united States Mexico Canada free trade agreement. One. The reports indicate at least 11 troops sustained head injuries in Iran's airstrike on U.S. bases in Iraq. It's 12:36. I'm Bert Williams on right, here we go. three KRMG Tulsa's news and talk. This is RV camping on 102.3 KRMG Tulsa's news and talk. Join the show by calling 918-460 KRMG or text us at 959-20. Welcome back to Camping with Wade's RV, 1023 KRMG. I'm Skyler Cooper, Willie D in studio, man. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm happy to be here. It's exciting. And brought a friend with you today, Connor Perkins. So we we're calling him a camping enthusiast and a uh, bird watcher. Oh, yeah, that's me. You gotta let me know. <laughs> yep. So you guys recently went on a trip out toward Keystone that we were talking about earlier. If anybody missed the uh, description of that place or where it is, we might tell you again later. But if we don't, uh, just go back to the podcast, krmg.com or the KRMG app. And you'll find every week's podcast right there. We've talked about it before, but it's a good reminder because earlier we got a question about that houseboat. You guys will take houseboats, won't you? That's exactly right. If you have a wild and wacky trade, bring it to me. Let's do some business. Um, at Wade's RV, we have a policy. If you want to trade it and there's value to it, guess what? We can do business. You know, we can do a deal. There's value to everything. So we've taken in cars, trucks, jet skis, lawnmowers, tractors. Um, I don't think Wade wants a whole bunch of cows showing up, but I did trade for 33 bulls one time. So, I heard about that. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. It, it was a long weekend of a lot of hauls and uh, <laughs> tractors and different brush hogs and things of that nature. But it, it's what makes Wade's RV different and fun, just like what we were talking about earlier with that culture. And you guys went out on that trip, and uh, it's kind of cool because you get to do trial and error and do testing of some of the inventory. So. You talked a little bit about what you went in earlier, but you guys have other new things out on the lot. That's exactly right. So that actually kind of leads into what I wanted to talk about with some of our new products. So we just picked up um, Catalina and then also Vibe, which they have two units that whenever they showed up on the lot, I was like, wow, I have to take these out. So um, the first one is the 2020 Coachman Catalina Expedition 192. And this thing is so cool. Like I said, go on Instagram, take a look at it. I have a couple different pictures, but the cool thing about this is even if you have just like a Jeep Wrangler or something small, you can pull this. It only weighs 4,000 
and eight pounds. So you can go out camping and the best part is at the price of $20,000, it's only gonna cost you about $200, $250 a month. And this thing is lifted, it's got solid steps on it. If you go to the front, it's got a bike rack on the rear, it's got a cargo rack, it even has a solar panel. So if you're going out boondocking with those lifted tires, you're going out to a little bit more of those remote places, you're gonna be able to recharge your batteries and essentially go off the grid. Would you say that's a good option for someone who wants to get into RVing but maybe doesn't have a massive place to store something big? I mean, there's advantages to that size. That's exactly right. This thing, bumper to bumper, is only 21 foot and a half. Um, so you can put it just about anywhere, and I wouldn't say it's a good idea. I would say it's an excellent idea. All right. A lot of options there. And people have their preference, too. You know, maybe they don't want that giant thing. Like me, I would... I've talked about it before, but I'm like a little insecure with uh, driving really big things or, or pulling really long trailers, so that would take some time to get used to. But this thing, you know, weekend with it, and you'll probably be used to it. Yeah, and that leads into another great point. At Wade's RV, we can help you get started on that. If you've never hauled a trailer or anything, we have lots of different accessories, hitches, sway bars, things that are going to make it easier for you backing up backup camera, guess what you can see right behind you. If you got that big box, you can't necessarily see directly through it. So we can really help you get out there and talking about smaller units, this is like the perfect unit for a guy like myself. I'm the same way. Even though I do pull these big 40 footers around and all that, I like to take a little small compact one, sometimes with a slide, sometimes not, but that way I can go out there and really enjoy it and it makes it easy. It's going to make it really enjoyable pulling it down the road and a lot of the times you don't even know you're pulling a trailer. You really do let people try things out. I, I got to drive that big old truck. What is that big fancy truck that Shaq has? That you guys oh sell? yeah, the sports chassis. Yeah. yeah, I loved that thing. It was so cool. It's like a combination of a luxury truck and vehicle, and it's huge. They can pull anything. Oh yeah, it can tow 30,000 pounds. It's got 1,100 foot-pounds of torque. And, I mean, can you get a cooler truck? Right. Uh, you're going to be the, one of the only people in Tulsa. There's only a handful of them. So you're going to be a very unique person. And one thing that I think is kind of interesting is when you're going down the road, people will stop and take pictures of you. They think you're a rock star or a celebrity. And really, you're just driving an incredible truck that's really going to help work for you. I actually really enjoyed it. I wasn't really that intimidated by it. Once I got going and got mm -hmm. a feel for it, it didn't take long at all. Yeah, and one great thing about that and the reason why it doesn't feel, you know, that bumpy in things is it has an 800-pound weight in the back. So a lot of times people, mm -hmm. they get a one-ton and they use the term, it's going to, you know, have your teeth fall out when you're going down the road. It's so bumpy. That's not the case with a sport chassis. You're going to have an air ride bed. You're going to have an air ride cab and air ride seats. Got another question for you. Text at 95920. It says, what kind of maintenance do I need to do on my wheel axles for their travel trailer? So there's a couple different elements to your axles. You know, you have your brakes, you got your wheels, you have your bearings, things of that nature. You definitely want to go ahead and get those bearings packed, things of that. I would do it once a year myself, but um, I would recommend just coming on in and having a technician take a look at that whole setup and see if there is anything that needs to be done. Because a lot of times that's the last thing people think about is what are the wheels and the axles and all that. They might check their hot water tank, they might check their hitch, but they're lacking on that maintenance. So definitely come on in and have us look at it. And if there's anything that needs done, we can get it fixed. And if not, we can just send you on the road. Along those lines, what are some other good ideas for maintenance? Like, do you rotate tires on RVs? I would recommend it. Just like on anything else, it's going to go down the road. You're going to have different wares and different things like that happen. So I would rotate them 100%. You want to get your roof checked at least once a year. One cool thing is if you come to Wade's RV, we were running a promotion that if you came and got your unit winterized, we would check your roof for free. So you're not going to have to pull out a ladder if you ever have gone on top of an RV. They're a little tall. It's a little frightening up there. And yeah. so if you don't necessarily know what you're looking for either, you might miss something. So always bring it out to the pros and have us take a look. You know, earlier I was telling you about my truck that uh, got the leak and rainwater was getting in. Actually, on my way here to do the show today, I stopped off and bought a part to fix that. And that makes me think about, um, again, we, we were talking about the atmosphere at Wade's over you, but not only is it relaxed in there and you guys have people all over to help you, but you have a whole side of this place dedicated to parts and things. So if people are headed out for the weekend, they can stop in and get that one thing they forgot or something that might not be working. Is that exactly, right? yeah. Um, one cool thing is whenever you pick up your RV, we actually have a parts manager and he'll walk you through and give different recommendations. I was in a demo the other day and he said, don't forget the fuses. It's one of those simple things that you might forget, but if your fuse is out, then you're kind of out of luck whenever you're out there camping. And yeah. so we have all the parts that you need. One really big thing that people are buying right now are heated water hoses. So you don't want your water tanks or your water lines freezing up. So I would come by, get one of those, and we have antifreeze, we have sealants. I can't think of something we don't have. And if we don't have it, we can get it ordered for you. So we can do anything you want. Willie D, Connor, you guys both like to go camping. Do you have a preference? Uh, for me, I despise really cold weather. 
So even though you have the luxuries and the amenities inside these things, I would be like, gosh, I don't know if I want to go out. What about you guys? Well, uh, personally, uh, once you camp in one of these, you're never going to want to stay in a tent ever again. That's true. Yeah. yeah so um, really, I mean, what would you say the weather was like? Maybe 50s at the most? Probably, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, what makes it day really after nice. Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. But, but anything in like the freezing range, I'm like, I wouldn't want to go outside the thing, you know? Yeah. And that's yeah, exactly what happened. <laughs> Whenever we had that rain, we were all kind of inside and we were all hanging out. And I mean, I didn't want to go stand outside in the cold, pouring rain myself. So we just stayed inside. And that's the nice thing about having an RV is you do have that luxury. If you do want to stay inside, watch some John Wayne movies is what I'm always doing. Um, but you can really enjoy those experiences inside. And if you're in a tent, you're just get you know you're just getting rocked around. So the RV is definitely sleep. the way to camp. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I've never slept in a tent that I didn't wake up with the worst back pain or something on my neck. You know, I sleep on the ground. I, I don't care how nice your air mattress is. I'm, I always end up with it deflated the next morning, right? So Somehow. I don't yeah, know and yeah. you have an actual mattress and an right. RV. And so even one thing that we, I mean, we had a ton of people out there with us. So we had every bunk packed. We had the master room packed. I don't know how, but I actually ended up in the reclining chair. So uh, <laughs> it was that full. We had people in the dinette booths, but we had an incredible time. And we had lots of room in there. That one I was referencing earlier is actually 37 and a half foot long. So lots of space so you can have a good time even when it is raining. We, I like that, though. It's one of the things that um, people like to do get out in nature, that's why they like to go camping, you know, but I like the combination of, I still have a nice bed to sleep on, there's a recliner, I can hang out, there's a TV, but you're just right there, maybe you're parked in somewhere in the woods, you can still get connected with nature, the rain is something I love at night, it's kind of nice last night, it was still raining, mm -hmm. you can hear it outside, and yeah, that's just part of it for me. Yeah, know? and whenever you're out in an RV, it's kind of like having that rain on a tin roof, and it just makes for the experience. Um, we were talking about, you know, kind of different RVs and different mixes of them all. Um, that I want to talk about the Vibe 28 RV. I got this. I picked up a Vibe brochure and I looked at it and I told Randy, if we don't have one of these, we need five. Um, this thing only is 34 foot long and it weighs in at 6,500 pounds. But what was incredible to me was to have a washer dryer prep before this unit come at, came out. You were looking at a 40 foot coach. So if you wanted something a little bit smaller, this just really fits a niche. And if you haven't seen the interior of a Vibe, it will just take you back. It has special glass in there. They have the uh, coated water faucets that have the pull downs on them. Uh, they have different water spigots. They actually have a 12 volt refrigerator in there. And if you don't know about refrigerators and stuff before, if you had a residential fridge, you had to have an inverter. So guess what? You're powering that inverter to power your fridge. And that just means you got a lot of battery draw on that thing. Right. So this 12 volt fridge, if I have my battery box hooked up to it, it will quite literally get cold while I'm in the unit, you know, taking pictures or exploring and checking out different things. So, uh, and we were talking about showers earlier. If you do want to use the shower, this one has a huge one. And if you've ever used one of those RV bathtubs, they're tiny. I mean, you feel like you're just so small in there, but this one, you can actually take a nice shower and get nice and clean. We do need to take a break here. Now, coming up on Camping with Wade's RV, you've got a list, and this is oh, your yeah. necessity list of camping supplies, is it that right? must haves. If you don't have these, your camping trip will not be the same. We will uh, have that list as we come back with Willie D. It is Camping with Wade's RV on 1023 KRMG. You're going to find Willie D. out there running all over the place. Oh, yeah. They have to. They just have to grab me and slow me down because <laughs> I'm going 100 miles an hour. 918-291-1011 is the phone number out there. Go to wadesrv.com. You can see most of the inventory in real time out there. Or uh, call and ask for Willie D. and he can uh, walk you through anything you need to know. Uh, we've been taking your questions all hour. Text us at 95920 if you have any questions. Uh, Quirky things happening with your RV, you need help with it, or you just have uh, questions about RVs in general, like this one, Willie D. That someone says that they uh, they had an old RV, it looks like, and they said the old heat and air stuff on the past on the on the rooftop was really loud and noisy, and they want to know if the newer stuff has gotten better. A lot of it has. Now, you have to look specific. So if you came to Wade's RV, we'd be able to direct you in the path of some quieter AC systems. They have a couple different things. They have the Whisper Quiet AC system, and so with that, it's kind of like the recirculation feature in your car, mm -hmm. and so it makes it very, very quiet, and they call it Whisper Quiet because you can whisper and have a conversation. Go figure. Um, that's one thing that's also improved. There's also different companies that do what's called a racetrack design with the ducts, and so you'll have double ducting. And so with that flow, you're not just going to have one central dump just howling at you. You're going to have it coming out from a lot of different places, which is going to help with the noise as well. Um, also, kind of leads into different heat sources that have been developed in the last couple of years. So, you know, five, six years ago, you might see an electric fireplace somewhere. 
but it was very, very rare. Nowadays, almost every RV that you're going to go into, um, the bigger ones at least, not necessarily the 20-footers, but many of them have fireplaces. And so with that, you're not having to use that electric heat if you want it on the roof or your propane. You can just go ahead and click on that fireplace, and it's going to go ahead and heat you up. Those actually work pretty good, don't they, Connor? Oh, it was great. Yeah, heated up the entire thing, and uh, we really didn't have to run the propane heater at all. Nope. We came back, and we had almost two full tanks. So with that, you're not going to have to worry about going to refill if you're boondocking. I keep referencing that. It's great because you're not having to go back into civilization. You can stay out in the woods where you want to be. So we've got a couple of minutes left. We want to get through this list of your absolute necessities. You guys uh, go out, you camp, and you realize oh, you're just missing that one thing, and it kind of ruins your weekend. So what would you recommend? So I'm going to let Connor take this one over. He is like my neck. He comes on every camping trip, it seems like. I don't know how it works out, or he just has the, sig the bat signal that I'm going camping. It's always there. But yeah, we, we have developed this list, and I would say it's the essentials. If you don't have this, your camping trip will not be the same. So go ahead and take that over. Yeah, I would say the uh, number one thing you're going to want to have is paper towels. Um, you never know what a mess is or what kind of mess is going to be created. It could be mud, and especially if you have kids. I don't, but I can imagine that's just a disaster, especially when it comes to camping. I always uh, like the blue ones, the shop towel ones. Oh, yeah. Yes. Those or the kitchen style. Do you have a preference? Uh, just whatever works, Anything. really. Well, I will right, say though. we both came out with the white rolls of paper towels. Oh, yeah. So I, I'd say it may be the more economical. I think those shop towels, you know, might be a little bit more expensive. But another thing I'm going to go ahead and jump in is with those paper towels, you can also use them as a fire starter. So whenever it was wet and all the leaves were wet, we had dry paper we could use. It was incredible. Okay. Yeah, another thing I like is, uh, of course, trash bags, but um, a machete. You never yes. know when you are going to need a machete. Yeah, it's great for cutting up that firewood. You can use it as a hammer if you need to stir your fire pit. There's endless possibilities, and I would say I use that more than water out there even. I mean, that was a go-to yeah. tool, and we were always looking for it. So who's got the machete? Because everyone needed it. Yeah. Should have six. Universal, I guess, right? Exactly. You can use it for so much stuff, and hey, even if you need a flathead screwdriver, you can use the end of it. <laughs> exactly. Another good idea, I would say, is uh, a lot of RVs have this little storage spot just right in the front, especially if it's a fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. If you have enough room, keep some extra firewood in there. With Oklahoma weather, you have no idea when it's going to just start pouring out of nowhere, and you're just going to have soaking wet firewood. And uh, it's always good to just keep that. And along with that, with the unexpected weather, I would say bring some stuff and be prepared for some sort of rainstorm. Like, get some jackets, some boots, just some trash clothes, you know, you can just kind of throw away once you're done, because, yeah, you never know what type of mess you'll get into, but that's just part of the fun. One of our friends, he did not prepare for this, and he left his shoes out in the rain, and huh. so I think he ended up going home barefoot. So you always want to bring some extra clothes with you, uh, just to make sure you're secure. And talking about that underbelly, this is kind of a pro tip. Keep your lawn chairs whenever you go in for the night. Keep them in your underbelly because you might wake up and there might be dew on them. So uh, if you keep it in there, it's going to be nice and dry with your firewood and you're going to be ready for the next day. So um, with that, one thing that I really, we were talking about our different brands and so why we partner with different people. Um, the Coachman, they're a Forest River product and then also the Vibe, they're a Forest River product. One great thing about these two products, they actually get 100% PDI'd. And so what that means is it's a pre-delivery inspection. And so each one of those units, they have five technicians, I believe, that actually go through it and check it out before it gets driven down to Oklahoma. Now, whenever it arrives at Wade's RV, we do this again just as a second set of eyes. But it is just incredible the amount of detail that they go into it uh, and they check these units out with. All right, got about a minute left. You've been listening to Camping with Wade's RV. Tell everybody what they need to know about coming to check out Wade's RV. So if you can't come out and see what I call the Wade's difference, you can always go to our website, www.wadesrv.com. Check out all of our inventory. We have different blog posts on there. There's also links to the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So it's really just a one-stop shop for you. And you can also give us a call, 918-291-1011. And it just ask for what you need, parts, service, sales, or ask for Willie D. I'll always help you out. And you can always go to the service center, too. You guys have the two locations. 121st and Highway 75 or 161st. Some of it overlaps, but really there are two different places, right? Correct, yeah. We, ha we have the service center out there, and then with the super center, we actually just added on additional bays. And one thing that we got in the last couple weeks is a tire, I don't know what the technical term is, but I'm going to call it a tire changing machine. Oh. And so we can do it all now. Sounds awesome. Thank you guys for coming in. Uh, Connor, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, man. thanks for having me in. Thanks for joining us today. We'll have more of uh, these guys' camping stories next week oh, and anything yeah. you need. It is Camping with Wade's RV. You're listening to 1023 KRNG, Tulsa's News and Talk.
cool. I think I was like, oh, I didn't know how much of the list we had. <laughs> so I was uh, like, like, okay, PD guy. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That worked out. Cool. I think it went good overall, though. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune in next week for the latest episode of Camping with Wade's RV.